Hey guys, Lego Boy Illinois here. Today I'll be reviewing the Lego Star Wars Ultimate Collectors um, R2D2. So it's set number 10225. It's 2,127 pieces and it's ages 16 plus. So over here we have a nice picture of R2 on the box. Uh, we have the new 2012 Darth Maul logo, some part um, elements uh, that come with the set. And then down here we have the measurements of the R2, showing like how what the length is of each. If I flip the box over on the side, it just has all the different views that come uh, of the R2 figure. Uh, on the back, we have a nice little picture of, I'm pretty sure this is like uh, Geonosis or something, I don't know the exact planet, but it probably isn't because you have, it's probably Tatooine actually, because we have the, if you see those Jawas in the back there. Um, but yeah, so it shows all the features, which I will get to on the box, uh, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, it's that box, and you get three instruction booklets with this set, so yeah, now let's take a look at the figure. So here is the R2-D2. Um, first thing that you're probably, the really thing that's going to attract this guy for most people is definitely going to be the head. Um, just, I want to throw it out there at the beginning, just awesome head uh, for the set. But anyway, this, you know, it's R2-D2, so... R2 -D2, so. Before I get started with that, um, I like to. I just want to show you guys. If you ordered this guy or ordered anything else on May 4th or 5th, you would get this exclusive Lego R2D2 uh, poster, and it's definitely a big poster. It's not as small as you'd think it would be. It's definitely a nice size poster. Uh, so I had. It's actually limited edition. It's, I says it had, that I have 5,661 of 40,480. So. Pretty cool. Uh, for going to our two, let's get on to the stand here. Um, very, you know, all the ultimate collector sets come with these stands. Uh, so we have the R2. Uh, this is pretty blurry. Uh, I'll briefly read a little bit about this. So, manufacturer, industrial automation, automaton model R2 series, astromatic droid. You know, has like the height 1.09 meters. Uh, equipment, holographic project, uh, projector, spacecraft linkins and control, control arms, universal computer inter interface arm, bus, uh, you know, all that. Um, so yeah, very nice picture here. And then also comes with these, this uh, uh, mini, the figure version of R2-D2. So very nice stand. And yeah, that's about it. And now on to the actual R2-D2. So... I'm gonna, this is, um, the, this is the, I'll get onto the functions, I guess, stuff. Here in the front, you can actually open, if I, let me get these, uh, open, that was a fail. Uh, I'll fix that, but, anyway, you can open these flaps, and then inside you have, uh, these, like, metal rods, and, uh, no, these golden rods. Hold on a sec, guys, I'm gonna go get that, uh, piece. Yeah, so on. as you can see, those parts fall off easily, but, uh, yeah, that's about it for these flaps. And now I'll start off with, uh, the, uh, these, uh, this part. These two flaps actually open up. And then there's a lever in the back on each one. Like, let me get this one. Uh, this thing's sideways. Alright, so there's these levers in the back that, if I can get it, open these things up. So as you can see, this one is a buzz saw. It does extend, if I hold this carefully. It does extend all the way out. So yeah, that's the first one. And then you gotta put it back down manually. You can't like do it by hand. But then over here we have R2 D2's famous uh like access key thing that he uses to access all the doors basically in the movies. But push this back in and that is about it for that part. Um so let's just close, ah, sorry about this, it's hard to do this with one hand, but those just close right back up, and yeah, um, down here, you know, there's just a lot of detail in the set, that's why it's called an ultimate collector set, um, yeah, that's about it for the front, uh, I guess I'll go to the back of the body. 
So, um, the back of the body, these are the two switches I was talking about, how they move those uh, functions over there. Then I have uh, this lever, which actually lifts up and down this leg. Now, it, it, it doesn't necessarily lift it, you gotta pull it up yourself, but it holds it in place, like it locks it up and down. I'll show that in a sec, but... Um, yeah, uh, the, uh, you have these, like, uh, these support things. I'm pretty sure they're to hold, the, like, the uh, legs. They're, like, leg supports, I'm pretty sure. But if I come over here, uh, on the side here, these are the legs. It has a good amount of detail on it. Uh, if I come over here, we have his, uh, he has these uh, those rods on each side of his leg. Um, and then the detailing here is the same as on the other leg. But... Now, let me, I'm going to put him in his uh, other mode, and I'll show you how the leg pops out. So, hold on guys, I'll be right back. So, this is R2 in his regular mode. Um, and then I'll show you what I meant by the, if I pull the lever down on the back. Uh, now, you hear that click? That means it should just, I, you can pull it down. And you see, you can put it there, and then there's a switch that you got to, like, lock it in. So that it doesn't move back up. So... Yeah, um, really, oh, last thing, of course, probably the best part is the head. Uh, the head has that, uh, sphere shape that you would see at Lego stores, um, you know, like, the multiple Lego stores, uh, I mean, not Lego stores, but, you know, like, Lego creations that Lego makes and how they have, like, the spheric shape and everything, and it makes you, like, it's, it's cool how they build the head. Uh, the head's probably the funnest part of the set. Um, I de definitely like the head the best. Uh, really, it may look hard to build. It really isn't. I was surprised. I thought it was going to be a bunch of different part placing, but it's really not that hard. Uh, but, yeah, that's, uh, you know, basically it. When you do build this, I wonder if I can take, oh, whoops. I, wanna, I just wonder if I could take off the head and show you guys how to, like, what's inside, but uh, I, was just gonna, I don't feel like I'm afraid I'm going to break something. But uh, the head, you know, does come off. I mean, it does, but it, I, I don't want to take it off because it might do something. But the body isn't as bad as you'd think. There's some Technic parts. You'd think most of the set would be Technic parts, but really isn't. Not that many parts in here are Technic. There's some, of course, but there's not a lot. So, basically, that concludes the review on the LEGO Star Wars um, Ultimate Collectors R2-D2, very nice set, uh, playability wise, you can play with it, it's, it's a little sturdier than other UCS sets that, um, Lego's made, uh, you know, but it really looks very nice on display, and, yeah, that's about it, guys, this is LegoBoy18 signing off, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys later.